you are going to see is the 570 going concern. Now before you go into any standard, you have to do a mind mapping of the entire standard. SA 570 starts talking about auditor's responsibilities. This standard also talks about management's responsibilities and they have given three cases that is the implications of the going concern principle. The first implication is that the financial statements are prepared as per the going concern assumption but the auditor feels that this is inappropriate. That means it should not be prepared as per the going concern assumption. That means there is sufficient appropriate audit evidence that there is a material misstatement and of course it is pervasive it is affecting all the other items in the financial statements so in this case the auditor will be giving an adverse opinion the second implication the second case scenario is the financial statements are prepared as per the going concern principle but there is a material uncertainty what is the meaning of material uncertainty material uncertainty means there is a 50 50 probability that the going concern might get affected so in this case we have to check whether this material uncertainty has been reported in the financial statements or not even if there is a material uncertainty and if it has been reported in the financial statements then there is no problem at all auditor will be giving a clean report unmodified report but in the case where there is a material uncertainty and that material uncertainty is not reported in the financial statements then the auditor has to go for an adverse opinion because there is sufficient appropriate audit evidence that there is a material misstatement and also it is affecting all the other items in the financial statements it is pervasive in nature in the case third case where they are not extending their support if they are not giving any evidence then there is no sufficient appropriate audit evidence itself if there is no sufficient appropriate audit evidence then the auditor will be giving either a qualified or a disclaimer of an opinion based on the nature of the pervasiveness of the case